There is something quite unique and extraordinary about Santa Barbara. We're here to engage with the Santa Barbara community and all the wonderful folks here to make sure that everyone is aware of the need to spread information and come together for breast, ovarian, and prostate cancer. I came to get involved with the Schlepp through the Rabin Medical Center. They reached out to me and they said, Pam, we would love to partner with you and get to know your organization and see how we can connect and make a difference in the community. Both my mom and my sister have had breast cancer. Fortunately, they are both survivors. So I'm schlepping for them. I'm schlepping for friends. As a BRCA1 gene breast cancer survivor, I know how important it is to fight the fight of cancer and to win. What helps, Israel helps all of us, so it's great research there. And then the Breast Cancer Resource Center is an amazing organization here in town. Calling it a schlep is appropriate because many women carry the BRCA gene. If we could try to help the women that have that BRCA gene and get them tested, then they can determine what to do with that. I'm really happy to be participating. Um, I really believe in the health of our community and doing these types of events to help raise money and community support for um, this important cause. So I am here today um, shopping for myself and for all of my friends, the Teal sisters that are out there that I've lost. I'm here to inspire other women to never give up and to keep schlepping. Okay, I do have a couple of friends that are survivors of breast cancer, but I also really wanted a t-shirt that said 5K schlep on it. I'm schlepping today for too many people who have gone through cancer, have been able to fight cancer, and have lost the battle with cancer. I think having the schlep in Santa Barbara is important for community, for awareness. I know the Breast Cancer Resource Center personally, and I know that they have a lot of resources that help. I think it's a great thing in the, for this community because it gives people a chance to take action. People are hungry for what they can do to help change the world, and continuing the fight against cancer is just one of those great things for people to do, and if they can do it while running, that's uh, even better. Well, there's actually several people who are be benefiting, of course, the Rabin Center in Israel, but also our local breast cancer center. So in other words, it's a big educational event in addition to raising funds. I started this race for a personal reason in 2011. My mother had breast cancer twice. She hated exercise, and to her, this would be a schlep. So this is a memory and a tribute to my mother, Hadassah Plow, who died in 2003. She lived 40 years after she had cancer. She didn't die from cancer. I thought this would be a great opportunity to bring the community together and do something so important. The entire Jewish community really got involved with getting people out, and a lot of everybody was out here with teams from all the organizations. And it's so important that we continue to raise money for breast and ovarian cancer. And I just want to thank the entire community, especially not only the administrators, the police, first responders, the, the, just the community for what they've done. And again, and I use the word embrace because they really have embraced this event. And thank you all so much.